so close Tell me how it happened Standing in the tent But she tell me how to fix this now I can feel the distance Would it make a difference If I made it right so well Welcome to Eagle Vision for Wednesday, August 28, 2019. I'm Allie, and today's top story takes a closer look at colors and how they can affect us. Have you ever thought about the way colors can make you feel? For centuries, artists and designers have known that colors have a massive impact on humans and our state of mind. Most people like blue because of the calming effect that it has on the mind and the body. Some types of blue can even help relieve stress. For example, when you go to a hospital, it'll most likely have a blue tint. In movies, when somebody's coming down, you know, it might have a blue tint to it, or a calming scene, it might have a blue tint. Now for those of you who say, I feel nothing when I look at blue, I get where you're coming from because blue might not be your favorite color. Although most of the time, your brain will feel calmer looking at the sky or the ocean as opposed to the stimulation of colors like bright orange and popping red. If you like a color that's not blue, that's okay. There are studies that show that about 40-43% to 43 of men and about 30% of women listed blue as their favorite color. Even though that doesn't sound like a whole bunch of people, it was the highest percentage of light color out of the colors pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and purple. Honestly, when we talk about color in class, we learn about color mixing and how color is used to portray different images in art. And you can use dark colors and light colors to portray distance, as well as different colors for different emotions. So if you see the color red, what sort of emotion would you think of when you see the color red? You would think of anger or something to that effect. Um, you'd use bright colors to invoke happiness dark colors to invoke sadness. Um, so it just depends on what the artist is going for when they create artwork. What colors do you need to use to portray that? And Oh, color can affect us greatly. Um, in the morning, for example, when you wake up and you're trying to decide what to put on. If you're in a bad mood and you don't feel good, you end up putting on like black and brown and just really dull, ugly, what I call ugly colors, but whatever. Just boring colors because you kind of sad gloomy colors um, if you're in a great mood say you had a uh, really good time and you're looking forward uh, to coming to school a lot of times you will put on red or yellow or orange and I mean you got the orange shirt going on with the orange tennis shoes and you looking sharp that day so color affects you greatly the color of your bedroom if you have a very dark bedroom um, you know that can change your personality to a certain degree. When babies are born, they like to have um, bright colors. They like to have black and white because that's what the baby can see at first. So color affects us greatly. Yes, it does. In national news headlines, there's currently a tropical storm forming in the Gulf that has some forecasters concerned. According to NBC News, tropical storm Dorian could be a hurricane when it approaches a Puerto Rico still in recovery. 
Tropical storm warnings were in effect for several Caribbean islands Monday, as Tropical Storm Dorian headed towards the region on a path that could send it skirting Puerto Rico as a hurricane by midweek. Dorian, the fourth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, formed as a tropical depression Saturday and quickly gathered strength. It was 205 miles east-southeast of Barbados on Monday morning, moving west at 14 miles per hour with maximum winds of 60 miles per hour. Forecasters stressed that the storm's path could shift before it reached populated areas. But the projections Monday morning suggested Dorian would either be a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane as it approached Puerto Rico. It is reported that by the weekend, southeastern Florida could feel some of the effects of the lingering tropical system. Students, we're going to be given the ACT right here at Horn Lake during school hours on October the 1st. To sign up, see the table in the Commons area before school. The last day to sign up is this Friday at 7.30 a.m. This is an unusual opportunity. Most schools are not given a chance to take the ACT during the school day. Be sure to take advantage of the cut price and weekly testing date. We've recently added the football game from Friday night as well as the first volleyball game of the season to the Channel 17 Daily Loop. Check out this channel anytime throughout the day to catch those games. It's now time for today's birthdays with me. Happy birthday to Nicholas Garrison and Justin Reyes and we share the same birth week once again so congrats. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention. We're gonna move somewhat fast okay. Any juniors interested in taking the PSAT test or sophomores interested in taking the PSAT class should come to Ms. Tatum's room in D10 before or after school. PSAT is a test prep class that is especially useful for those that want to improve their ACT scores. The cost of the test is $17 and the deadline to pay is September the 5th. Softball tryouts will be September the 10th at 3.30. You must have a physical. For more information, see Coach Nails in B13 before first block. Baseball trials will be September the 7th at 10.30 a.m. You must have a current physical, your own rod, and have your own baseball equipment. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We're better students always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic week of my birth. So close. Tell me how it happens. Standing in a tempest. Tell me how to fix this now. I can feel the distance. Would it make a difference if I made it right so oh, oh, oh. I just want to keep you here and I'm scared of being empty. Oh. Anything that I could do to change them